first time that we met, though. Well, uh, it, you do before. I know, I know you've been doing it, this for it, a minute. It, it could be the best time. Sir. <laughs> well, the, I think we're going to have the best time seeing this screening tonight because this Absolutely. film is amazing. Well, I mean, you know, I'm so proud of Manny Haley and the whole camp. You know, I was in Shoot of the Game 2 and 3. Um, I also did Wayward, and I love working with Manny. It's a family affair. It's a crew. And, um, I'm here to cheer on uh, the squad, even though Manny didn't have me in this movie. <clears throat> oh, um, you know, Come on, man. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, you know. But we got some great things in the future planned, and uh, I'm really proud of this crew. And he just keeps on stepping it up, and it keeps getting better. I have to give you a, a congratulate or a shout out or congratulations or thank you in my life because actually I started doing something and I started rebooting all the shows I watched as a kid and see what I missed, and I didn't realize that that was what was giving me an example of like a positive black family it's not perfect that's you know I'm rebooting it so everyone's talking about the reboots now so I'm sure people have always asked you and you hang out with your TV mom like y'all are so cool I do I do we hang out um we, we're still tight Slick Johnson is over here he's over here clouded excuse me I'm sorry you know I was I didn't worry about was, Slick Slick said he had two blunts and he I, is high he's, I, was, I was tall until Slick showed up <laughs> Well, it's the hat. It's, it's not. It's the hat. <laughs> it's the hat. It's the hat. But, but you know what? We do keep in touch uh, with each other. We're still very close. Um, uh, just wish Sean Harrison a happy birthday. Uh, Joe Marie Payton and, and I, we are very close. Um, her, a matter of fact, uh, fun history fact, her, Reginald Bell Johnson, and Thelma Hopkins all came to my high school graduation, which was right across the street at the Hollywood Roosevelt. Um, so, you know, it's a Hollywood royalty thing, and it's a blessing. Um, and, uh, yeah, 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 you know, the cool thing about that show is, one of my favorite things to hear is people tell me that, you know, when I was forming some some negative opinions about black people because of propaganda, media, and um, and, and and with with the news reports, I watched that show and it changed my life. You know, you saying that kind of makes me have this other like internal dialogue where it's like. We were like, oh, what happened to those like sitcom families? And I realized those people were really like fighting against stereotypes that couldn't be disproven because we didn't have social media to really show who we oh, were. You know? Absolutely. I mean, like for real, the scars, the scars and stripes that we have, you didn't get to see us take them. We, there was no social media no, back then. No. But you know, we, we we took a lot on the chin to make sure that you know um, that that it is what it is. And uh, and those who went before us. You know, people like Ernest Thomas and Todd Bridges, every time I see them, I thank them for all that they've done for the culture, for us, because if there was no Ernest Thomas, there wouldn't be Eddie Winslow. I mean, he Someone has to always stand in the gap for the next person. Got always, you, you don't never forget whose shoulders you're standing on. You're always standing on somebody's shoulders, like you were standing on April Sutton's shoulders. Hey, April. Hey, April. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, though. I like to, So you were just saying something about a horror movie, you know? Yeah, I just uh, uh, started and produced a horror film. It's called Dollhouse. It'll be out next year. It's a really cool movie. I'm uh, really excited about this one. Hey, this is Darius McCrary. Let's get buzzed.